Hey guys, has this lockdown made you lose track of your fitness goals? Are you starting your resolution for 2021 and you want to lose weight but need some help? Introducing my affordable workout plans for men and women with packages starting at $5. This offer can't be beat. Go to RadicalLatino.com to find out more. Hey guys, do you have a product you want more eyes on? Advertise with the Radical Latino Show, where over 10K podcast downloads and the number 25 spot on the 55 All Latin Podcast list, you'll want your product heard on everyone's phones and cars. Go to RadicalLatino.com forward slash contacts and start advertising today. Playing the Radical Latino Show. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands in the air for New York's very own. Latino is taking you to another level. I think there's more radical than civil. Radical Latino, you're fucking it. The radical point of views, I think his views are actually more dangerous. Uh, you hear that? Street. Yo, what up, my people? Welcome back to another episode of the Radical Latino Show. It's your host, the Radical Latino, aka number 17 on all Latin podcasts, aka Mr. Unsuable for the 35th week running. What's going on? I hope everybody's doing great. I hope everybody's doing, having a great, great great time and i hope if everybody is surviving this whole you know uh c19 thing i know there's a lot of cities opening up new york said there's gonna be opening up with all restrictions lifted june 1st oh i'm sorry july 1st so i don't know how truthfully that is but hopefully we'll get through it you know I want to give a huge shout out to all my new subscribers, a huge shout out to all my listeners right now. Everybody in the chat, everybody thumbing up the video, thumb up, thumb up, thumb up, thumb up, thumb up, thumb up, thumb up. And also everybody downloading it. Shout out to you guys. Now a couple of updates that I want to give. Yeah, because y'all my people, you know what I'm saying? Um, I am going to relaunch the Radical Latino merch store. So I'm relaunching that and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do it again for another summer run. So definitely look out for that. There's a lot, there's going to be a lot of new designs, a lot of new things that you guys might like. So definitely, definitely, definitely look out for that. I'm planning on maybe doing it in the beginning of June or during the first week of June, I have no idea. I'll def- I'll definitely keep you guys posted, but uh, definitely look out for that. Now, I want to give a huge shout out to Brotep and Denise. Shout out to them too. Remember, they got YouTube channels. And again, I'm promoting their YouTube channels. So go to the link down below and go subscribe to their YouTube channel. Um, they have wonderful, wonderful content. Um, and also for Brotep. Me and Brotep are, oh, uh, me and Brotep are doing live streams and we're talking about various, various, various topics. And to be honest with you, I've been wanting to do, you know, other things outside of just, you know, talking about, you know, white supremacy. I understand that white supremacy is something that we're going to have to deal with and that's something that we are going to be talking about. You know, but also I wanted to at least, you know, branch out just a little bit and talk about other things. Some, some, some people might say some geeky things, you know, like comic books, uh, reviews, TV reviews, movie reviews, and, and talk some tech things as well. So I, at least I have, you know, bro tips, uh, channel to do that on and me and bro tap have these, this thing called them dudes, this show called them dudes. So we basically give our hot takes on certain, you know, uh, media, you know what I'm saying? So definitely look out, you know, look at, uh, check us out, you know, look out for that, you know, check us out. It's on the description down below. So go subscribe to them too. You know what I'm saying? And also, like I always said, um, and this is the last time I'm going to say it. I am exclusively on bro channel. 
I'm not gonna be nowhere else, just on Brotep's channel. If you have a live stream that you wanna invite me on, that's outside of an interview, that's outside of actual, you know, one-on-one -on -one dialogue, and if you have a live stream that you want me to be a part of, and there's like multiple people on the same discourse, you have to contact Brotep for that. Do not contact me. Contact Brotep. He's gonna be at the end of the day. He's gonna give the final say. So, you know what I'm saying that's basically it. So, go contact him for that. You know. Anyway, moving on to my next uh, little update. Um, I'm getting a lot of mo a lot of YouTube hate. So shout out to ya. You know, cause I know ya can't um get me out of ya head. So it's all good. Um, my. My channel for some reason is having a little glitch at the moment. For some reason, um, the like button it, and the dislike button, well, mostly the like button is like disabled. It's not something that I did. It's something that for some reason um, it ha it's happening every time I upload a video or whatever the case is. So after the videos are done and uploaded, I have to go back and um, you know, undo that little glitch or whatever the case is. I don't know what's going on, but it's happening every time I upload videos. So if you like the video and you don't see your like, or you don't see your representation of the, the, the channel on there, um, trust me, it's a, it's a glitch. Okay. Trust me. It's just a glitch. It, it has literally, it's, it's nothing to do with anything else. It's just a glitch. You know what I'm saying? So just remember, subscribe and like the video, like, like, like the video, like, like, like the video, you know? Um, also, 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 I, uh, uploaded, um, two videos this week and I did a live stream this week as well. <laughs> um, controversial yeah yeah pretty yeah pretty much it's controversial um uh, so the first one was just the update of my dna um results again um it's something that i was not even aware that that could happen but apparently it did um the way it flipped i have no idea how it did how it flipped so drastically but it did so okay that happened um and the other video I uploaded was Mario Gonzalez is a um, death. Um, basically he, he was a Mexican man that was killed in the same similar fraction as George Floyd. And the thing is with that is that, um, it, it it's, a uh, the reason why it, it, it became news and because they lied on the um, initial police report. They lied on it. And they said that Mario passed away due to medical conditions or whatever the case is, like he's overweight and all that. When in reality, the police uh, camera was, uh, you know, police camera was actually finally uploaded. Um, they end up finding out, we, end up, we all end up finding out why he passed away and it was because of police brutality that's what happened so you know um and now and now we got which i i already you know made a video on it but you know i record this early so hopefully it's already out um anthony val uh anthony val uh valdezir no valdez i think that's his name hold on let me let me double check on that Al okay, Anthony Alvarez. Oh, there it goes. There's the article. Anthony Alvarez was uh, another Latin dude that was shot running away from the cops. Mind you, they, they were talking about he had a gun. It don't matter. These people don't care about us. And this is, I've been proving this to y'all so many times. They don't care about us. If they did, they will do the same thing how they do white folks who do mass shootings they will take us in a live so let's cut the bs you know what i mean let's cut the bs and also this live stream i basically had a very controversial live stream mestizos are a product of spaniard rape oh my god so 
a lot of people showed up i made it short and short and short as possible and when i say short i wanted to do an hour but ended up being an hour and 38 minutes but whatever um it was short i i don't want to do no two three five ten out get out of here the most i ever do a live stream is like three hours that's it i'll cut it off quickly you know, you know what i'm saying i cut that joint off quickly because who's really gonna listen to three hours of it nobody's gonna listen to three hours of a live stream you know what i mean so um anything more than that it's overkill so that's why i leave what i leave you know so it's an hour go check that out i basically prove how mestizos were the inception of rape and how they came about so go definitely check that out um right there now i am going to read some of the comments done on episode 139 black and brown unity scares racist and if you guys know about that episode the last episode that's the reason why i'm having the type of intro that i'm having so shout out to me you know and shout out to them haters you know what i'm saying so if you guys want your comments read remember go on to the youtube my youtube channel under this episode write your comments down and you your comments will be read next week now um true serum says keep doing your work shout out to you morena says the chickens are coming home to roost that's the fear of all the injustices that have been committed since landing on the western hemisphere shout out to morena um johnny mill says radical latino fear of black and brown unity planet yes frank and on front says there are more people on board with black and brown unity than those who aren't this is what drives the fear into a racist i've always suspected this to be true but now hearing you say it very encouraging keep, uh, let's keep the momentum going their strength in numbers shout out to frank and unfront and also for everybody who doesn't know frank and unfront had a interview with um my good dude you know andrew show shout out to andrew show you guys definitely should definitely go to his channel um when i you know do my whole reveal or whatever the case is you know i'm definitely gonna go to florida and 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 chill with, with with andrew and and definitely you know do a do a live podcast down there with him so shout out to andrew um but frank in the front i got an interview bro i got to interview you man so um definitely i got a lot of things going on but you know definitely hit me up and we could set something up you know what i'm saying on uh, decolonize alexis says i will always support black and brown unity that's the reason why i like and support your channel keep up the great work brother rad shout out to decolonize yes shout out to you brother we are the people out here you know in the grassroots with boots in the ground doing our thing staying on code shout out to ya um truth teacher says whatever bro tap is uh, is playing is paying you i'll double it do you accept food stamps <laughs> listen there's a conspiracy going around well not a conspiracy a rumor it's a rumor going around saying that bro tap is paying me to stay exclusively on his in on his uh platform stream i am nor confirming nor denying it i'm just saying there's a rumor it might be true it might not be true i don't know but this is what the rumor is so you guys could figure that one out radical haitian <laughs> radical haitian <laughs> radical haitian you killed another podcast brother shout out to you denise says i love seeing that they ha oh, have to come to your side and bro type side to hear from you they can't help you to tune um to tune in I, it just proves that they have no content without the hate that they are brewing all day, every day for African Americans. Keep doing what you do. We need more representation of the radicals out here. Yes. Shout out to Denise. And she's absolutely right. We do need more representation out here 
because there's more radicals than chivos. So, and that's something I've always said. The people who are like me are not outspoken the way I am. The people who are like me don't have YouTube channels and the people who are like me don't get shared as much as races do. The races have a bullhorn and the people like me have paper um, notes. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the same, um, you know, uh, um, uh, the same uh, draw as some of these races do. Of course, because, you know, cringiness obviously is more effective. You know, Michelle Ruiz says, yo, that new intro go hard. <laughs> Shout out to you. And pretty much, yeah, that's it. So if you guys like what you guys, uh, you know, um, heard or whatever, you know, give me your best comments down below. I'll definitely check it out. Now I'm going to go into my first topic right now. Um, the boxer Feely, uh, Felix got charged for murder. Well, dumb murder, um, of his side shorty who was pregnant because he, he basically killed her. I really don't know. Um, I'm still trying to figure out why he did what he did. They're saying that it was based on machismo. I don't know how, uh, how true that is. I don't know. I got to do more research, but, um, basically this boxer, Puerto Rican boxer named Felix, um, is charged because he turned himself in because the body of his, uh, shorty got, got found um bound uh, bound shot up and beat uh, and beat it in and and uh, she was also pregnant with his kid and you know he basically you know bugged out so that was that was you know the whole thing and um i got a lot of a lot of things to say about that um i, I already spoke about the femicide that's happening in Latin America. It happens in Dominican Republic. It happens in Cuba. It happens in Puerto Rico. It happens all throughout Latin America. I get it. You know, there's there's something that we as Latin people here have to basically be real about and talk about. You know, I believe again. I believe that the reasoning this is happening is because you know, but outside of the whole machismo thing, outside of that. I believe there's a lot of simps out here. There's a lot of simps. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of men who aren't um, experienced in the whole dating realm, who aren't experiencing with with women, and also they have that over jealousy type of thing. They're not confident within themselves. I'm not trying to find excuses for a horrible, horrible act. Please don't confuse me that I'm giving excuses out. What I'm just trying to say is this is the this might be the reason might i really don't know why but this might be the reason why it happened and i the either way it, it's wrong either way it's wrong and i've um when i researched this type of things i see that femicide basically gets you know um swept under the rug you know Men, so most men get accused, and they just because you know government is so corrupt out there, it's easy to pay an official off, and you won't even see no jail time. You know what I'm saying? You won't see no jail time. So, yeah, no wonder people, you know, men do what they do and get away with it. You know what I'm saying? It's very obvious, and you could definitely see it. You know, you could definitely, definitely see it. So, to me, that's that that says a lot. To me, that says a lot to me that, that, that calls out that we need, our, that we need change. That's basically what it is. We need change in, in, into these, into these type of things, because we can't, if we're, if we're talking about, we're proud to be Latin people and all that other stuff. Listen, we got to call out the ugliness too. We gotta, we gotta support our, our women. If we're talking about, you know, where we're, we're proud to be part of th these beautiful Caribbean countries and our beautiful women. Um, how come we're, s and mo some of us are silent on some of the things that's happening out there. You know what I mean? We, we can't, we can't have it both ways. We can't have it both ways. 
So I want to I want to see some of the people who really support and and really are up on that whole you know la latinidad first and all this other uh, BS. I want to see if they're if they're going to talk about this. I want to see if they're going to actually put their money where their mouth is because if you're not then you're just all talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my part at least share, sharing awareness. I I'm at least doing my part to share some awareness. I want I want to see these other people do their part. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see. I want to see most of these people do their part because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we all we got. Let's be honest. We all we got and pretty much we can't let our own people, you know, our own people mess the our own image up. You know, we got to we got to do something with our men. You know what I'm saying? Pause. You know what I mean, but we got to we got to we got to, you know, clean up the mind in our in our community when it comes to the men. You know what I'm saying? Um and also on top of that, this is a big blow for the whole divesting community. You know what I'm saying? They want to divest talking about Oh, black men are this, black men are that, but yet, you know what I'm saying? The Latin community is not better off. I'm sorry to say, but it's true. The Latin community is not better off, and this is a proof of it. This right here is proof of it. We're not better off. We're not better off. Every community got their bad apples. Every community have their 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 you know their their stain in that community. Every community has that. You know what I'm saying? Every community has that. So let's not just, you know, with the whole divestment, you know, they want to just attack black men and all that and saying, oh, they're the reason why or whatever. The men of the community stop. Get out of here with that. Every community is like that. You know what I'm saying? If your community is so perfect, you know what I'm saying? Then I would understand why you would talk about other communities because you should show us by show improving. You know what I mean? But since no community is perfect, nobody should be talking about anybody else's. You know what I'm saying that that that's how I feel. Personally, that's how I feel. You know what I mean? Because I see it both ways. I see, you know, black men talking down on black women. That's messed up. That shouldn't be happening. But I also see the other part. You know, black men talking down on black women. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, you know, black women talking about black men and all that other stuff. It happens in every community happens in every every community you know what i'm saying so the the thing is let's not really relegate it to just a gender thing because that whole gender divide i'm not really for it to be honest with you i'm not really for the whole gender divide i think it's a distraction i think it's something that basically separates us that unites us you know what i mean anyway Moving on to my final topic, and I know this is going to be short, and I, I, I should have let y'all know this episode is going to be short. It's not going to be as long as I want it to be. So, final topic. Oh, man. Final topic. So, what do I mean by the con game of white run groups? What do I mean by that? For... His history, just historically speaking, whenever there's been power groups, groups of revolution, groups of change, groups that come in and disrupt the status quo, the status quo, it has always been co-opted by the dominant society monetarily. If not, then if it's a real grassroots movement, it'll be dismantled within the group. There's always signs to tell if a group is legit and the group if a group is not legit. Let's look at all the other groups that were legit that's been dismantled by systematic white supremacy that was, you know, a effort by law enforcement to do so the black panthers the young lord those are just some modern examples of such of such power groups you know we can keep it going but i just want to keep it short right now those are some examples of power groups that were dismantled within 
due to white supremacy and the efforts of law enforcement because they worked hand in hand. The groups that were not dismantled are the groups that in the forefront have it for revolution, but in reality, in the back, they're getting paid by the dominant society. I just want to point out a couple of groups that I see to be the case. And I'm going to focus on one in particular, by the way. I want to focus on one in particular. Well, I'm, I'm going to name a couple of groups, but then I'm going to focus on one particular. The LGBT community, we all know that, right? The modern day feminist community, we all know that. And I'm going to focus on the main one that everybody pretty much hashtags all the time. Black lives matter. Now, let me just say this one thing clear and one, I want to keep it clear. I support the slogan of black lives matter. I do not support the corporation. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. I support the slogan of black lives matter, black lives matter. The slogan I support, I do not support the corporation. I do not support the corporate entity of black lives matter that it has become. I do not support that because it went away from a black run group that was started like any other group that started with good benefits and good values into a money pit that is just there to exploit the mistreatment and injustices of certain groups of non-white people by the hands of white folks of certain white folks and they just get money and money and money and money and the community that they're exploiting gets nothing. The mother Tamir Rice um, came out a couple of actually a month ago, basically going in on every other activist and named Black Lives Matter specifically. And it pretty much went silent un uh, unless you speak into some activists. It actually, you know, perked a couple of ears up and it was really popular in the activist movement. Um, again, uh, what Tamir Rice's mom said was pretty much forwarded because you really got to dig YouTube and Twitter to actually find this. She pretty much criticized everything basically the intro that I just said that certain groups of people in black lives matter exploit the people that are supposed to be helping for money gain and nothing, nothing, nothing is done or given to the same community that they're exploiting. Nothing is done whatsoever. And you have to think, you're going to have to think, what does that mean? Let's think for a second, my people. What does that mean? That means that this group right here that uses the name Black Lives Matter, meaning that black lives are supposed to matter. Let's, you know, come on. It's not that it's not rocket science. In reality, it don't because that same money is not being funneled into black communities. That same money is not being funneled into black areas. That same money is not being funneled into black owned businesses. None of that is happening. So what is really happening? That money is being funneled. If you guys really break it down, that corporation that is called black lives matter, not the slogan, the corporation. The corporation hijacked the slogan, let's keep it real, is one is ran by the dominant society. And that money is actually being funneled into democratic campaigns. Believe it or not. That money right there is being funneled into democratic campaigns. Whichever group you're 
trying to see that they're being out here supported heavily at first and then you start to see a flip and a switch into that movement and they start talking about everything else under the sun but they just keep on talking there's no action then you're going to have to perk your ears up something is going on that it doesn't make sense something is go going on that does not make sense what is going on this is a con game and we have to be aware of con games we have to be aware of real run radical revolutionary groups that is gra grassroots boots in the ground compared to corporate fake grassroots heels on the ground not boots but heels on the ground and just doing it for the gram type of groups we have to know the difference we have to know the difference oh first of all black lives matter the slogan should have never been hijacked by a corporation that funnels money into the democratic party that should have never happened and by the way one of the black lives matter leader just bought a house for i think two million dollars are you crazy are you crazy outside of protest outside of black lives matter protesting what has black lives matter the corporation done what has black lives matter the corporation done this is white supremacy again put it on a face of justice and revolution in order to fill in their pockets that's all it is and miss me with the whole white liberal talk miss me with that because if these people were were real white liberals they would have never done no nothing like that them, some real white liberals are actually allies let's keep it real there's some actually die hard believe it or not my people there's some real die hard white folks out here man i'm dead serious there's some real die hard white folks out here that don't they they don't play that game the john browns of the world you know what i'm saying those are the real white folks who don't play no games those are the real white folks that will actually stop something like this but no those are the fake ones in the corporate black lives matter corporation those are the fake white folks because the majority of them are being is run by white folks anyway with black faces that's all we have to keep it real we have to keep it real the slogan black lives matter is a good slogan yes it's a good slogan because it's up in your face it's accusatory you can't ignore it to the point where when black lives matter came out then all lives matter see that, that's that's a way for an antagonizing that's antagonistic that's a way to basically race bait somebody into into something you know what i'm saying Black Lives Matter, the slogan's up in your face. You automatically know what the person is about. You automatically know what the person is thinking. You already automatically know what time it is. The corporation, on the other hand, that's a piece of shit. They're using Black Lives Matter as a black face with white bodies. That corporation, Black Lives Matter, has not done a damn thing for the community. Tamir Rice's mom said this. And almost every other person on social media is agreeing with her. We have to be 100% real. When we see protesters rocking black lives matter they're not rocking the corporation they're rocking the slogan because now it has been a rattling cry that's all it is it has been a rattling cry and the thing to the point is to the point where any black person 
that shows up to any protest, they're just labeled Black Lives Matter, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? They're just labeled Black Lives Matter, no matter what. Regardless if they're there just to protest or just passing the time. You know what I'm saying? They're labeled that no matter what. And again, that money is not being funneled in to the same communities that they're exploiting. It's not. Please let me know how the community of Mike Brown benefited from the money of Black Lives Matter. I'll wait. Let me know how the black community benefited from the money of Black Lives Matter from um, from Tamir Rice. Let me know. I'll wait. Let me know how the money generated from Trayvon Martin, who the hashtag I started from, helped the black community. I'll wait. You know what I'm saying? Eric Gardner, how did the money help out Staten Island from black? You see what I'm saying? This is something that we got to be real about. Let's not stay. Let's not get confused because somebody bought 200 book bags and they're giving them away. That's supposed to be some sort of big shit. Stop. We got to be real. We have to be real. We don't have to be out here actually looking at for whatever say no. Well, they did help my grandma pay off her rent. No, 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 no. What have they done for the whole community collectively? What have they done? Nothing. There's nothing that we can point to that is tangible for the black community that benefits from it. Nothing. Nothing. So why? So why is are these people still gathering donations? Do you guys know if you put any do if you go to GoFundMe, Kickstarter, um whatever. Any donation that receive donations, any place I receive donations, you have to prove where that money is being funneled to. You guys know that, right? You have to prove it. There's a reason why when you go to the Black Lives Matter website and you go to donate, it goes, it sends you into another page. It sends you into a democratic page. You're not donating money to Black Lives Matter. You're going to another page. So in reality, Black Lives Matter donate button is just a hyperlink to another, another page who's really receiving that money. There's a reason why they haven't gotten shut down. Have you guys ever thought of that? No? You guys ever thought of that? There's a reason why they didn't get shut down. There's a reason why they're still out here, you know, getting donations from the handfuls, from the death of George Floyd, from the death of Ahmaud Arbery, from the death of Breonna Taylor. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. They haven't gotten shut down and all that money went to the democratic party and please stand up for the president joe biden and vice president kamala harris because your donations help it ha- helped it happen what have they done for the black community i could tell you what they've done for the asian community new laws are being set in place i could tell you what's done with the asian community New task forces for the police has been set in place. What has it been done? What has it been done for the black community? Nothing, 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 nothing. Again, I support the slogan, not the corporation. We got to keep it real. The corporation is white run. For anybody in the back that didn't know that, well, spoiler alert, sorry. I'm saying, sorry, oops, you guys didn't know that, right? That's what it is. Anyway, I told you it was going to be a short episode, sorry, but I kept my promise. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's going to be a short episode. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and liked this episode on youtube like subscribe share and all that 
on the podcast app. Rate it five stars, please. Rate it five stars um, on your favorite podcast app of choice. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the same name, Radical underscore Latino underscore. And go to my website and donate. It won't go to the Democratic Party. Go, go to your boy and this podcast. And you'll actually support the podcast. Donate to your boy at RadicalLatino.com. And with that being said, I'm going to leave y'all like I always do. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. And if this whole black and brown unity doesn't happen in my lifetime... I might not change the world, but I might inspire the mind that will. Shout out to Tupac for that quote. With that being said, I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.